So we have Upper Cathedral Ward, and then one of the Layer 2 dungeons. I don't know which one. Or Layer Depth 5. I, mean, I don't know why I said Layer 2. Leveling in Bloodborne looks nice. I mean, it's pretty much the same as uh, the other games. Same same process. Only six things to consider? Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, that's true. Pretty simple. Because there's no equip load at all. Where am I going? What the hell am I doing? What is the most? DS3? I think it might be DS3. Partially because Bloodborne barely has a magic system. That and no equip load, so you don't need like a anything for like a vitality or anything. Like in DS2 and 3. And then Cathedral Ward, right? I think DS3 might have the most. D Elden Ring is almost the same, except for the fact that um, it doesn't have a stat for equip load. Like, purely for equip load, I should say. Like, uh, Vitality in DS3. I don't think Demon Souls does. Dark Souls 2 does, that's why I'm not sure. Dark Souls 2 might have the most stats. Either 2 or 3. Don't do it. There's Richard Blood 5 here, too. I always forget about that. Because I have, what, 10? 15, okay, so we need 10 more. I think there's like, it's either like three or five. No, nope, not that way. I don't know why I always want to go that way. So I think over there, straight ahead. Can these land on you? Well, I don't know if they can land on you, but. Okay, it's three. They definitely land. Kind of just go right through them, though. Hopefully the brain sucker is nice. Oof, close. Grab the shortcut. Ah. I hate fighting these guys. And the other one might even show up to one behind me. This animation lasts way too long. Glad I got the shortcut. Okay, stop doing charge R2s, because I'm just gonna get grabbed every time. Not my first playthrough, no. Oh, the hyper armor. I forget he has hyper armor in that attack. Hyper armor like every attack they do. The fact that they take two insight every time. Yeah, I mean, at this point I'm not really using insight too much. Although it might be good for some chalice materials, I don't know. It's just annoying, like, having to just sit there for like five seconds while they do the grab and suck your brain and whatnot. I don't even know which one gives you the key. Oh, that one, apparently. Neat. I also always forget which uh, which door you have to go through. Is it the bottom one? I think it's the bottom one. 
Which means I probably could have grabbed the ritual blood now instead of earlier. That's alright. What's this? Frenzied cold blood. Oh, how are you uh, doing on the durability? Now we're fine. All good. Can farm chunks in the rare rolls, really? Did not know that. We can get six every minute by the research hall, really? Oh, with the dupe glitch? I don't even know the dupe glitch, to be honest. Yikes, this damage is, uh, not great. I don't even know if I knew there was a dupe glitch in this game. Always turning. Kill the two frogs in the research hall and don't loot them. Then run back to the nightmare church. Kill the frog and run back to the research hall. Kill the two frogs. Scurrying beasts. Oh, okay. I didn't know they were called frogs. Are they? Do they look like frogs? Oh, I'm stuck. This is bad. This is very bad. We'll put the stairs right here. Why did it have to extend? Where's the real one? It's always the one like that doesn't come after you, this one. knock you back quite a bit. They can. I missed. Also miss. I'm trying to hit this guy. He keeps hopping away. Wait, it's not this guy? What is this guy? This music, at least at this part, kind of reminds me of Old Hero from, uh... Actually, I guess the remake. It's very different from the Demon Souls one. It's just very quiet. Kind of like this. Dude, he gets iframes on the dodge, too. That's not fair. Okay, the problem is now, like, you don't want to get... cornered. Happens too often. Also happened to be on the last attempt, so yeah. My damage is so bad here, man. Oof. 
I died in like three to four hits. <laughs> There's so many enemies here. Jesus Christ. I hate doing this fight with arcane weapons. It sucks. He's almost dead at least. How is he? How did I miss? I'm just gonna lure him around. Thank you. Alright, well, let me get my files back and level up, I guess, too. 49 vitality. Then we'll go more arcane when we, I guess, get more levels. Because I can't get any right now. Abritus. Can't remember. Can you just roll through this glass? 15 stream last streak. Damn, man. It's like almost a month. Just about, right? 16 streams a month. Wakey, wakey. Good start. <laughs> no, this damage is so bad. We gotta fight this boss twice. Okay, I would appreciate it if we could, like, not be in the corner. Let's go over here. Come on. You can also get blood gems, which give you more damage. I am blocked off by this tentacle. Headphones are starting to go. Like, batteries dying or, like, your headphones just aren't working. All these bosses do a lot of damage. Yeah, new game plus Bloodborne hurts. And we are getting to the late game. And counter hits are a thing too, which also doesn't help. This is not going very well. I'm doing pretty well though. Oh my god. In real life, not so much in game. In game, things are getting pretty painful. Uh oh. Glad I healed when I did. So yeah, the problem with this fight is the dot that gets put on you in phase two, it's not even really a dot. I guess it kind of is, but like this boss has an AOE that just constantly does damage to you. You'll see it in probably like it's less than a minute. You'll just hear this high pitched screeching sound and then I'm going to start taking damage. It also kills your rally potential. But the, the damage type of this weapon is not very good for this boss, because I'm hitting it for like under 200. I think that's pretty clear. <laughs> it's not good. This thing has like 20,000 HP or something ridiculous. I just don't, I don't think I have the damage for this attempt with six, now probably five vials left. Just not very good. Ah, oh, this attack sucks. I never know how to handle that. Why is my HP lowering? That's what I was saying. So she has an AOE around her in phase two and your HP just keeps decreasing and it kills your rally potential. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Maybe, uh better off in the other form. Probably not, though, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's close. This damage is just really bad. Can't use Zoomer language. What do you, like, burst into flames if you do or something? Channels modder? Oh, yeah. Forgot. I banned that word. Flix was abusing it. What word? I banned the word Riz. <laughs> it was only supposed to be temporary, but I kind of forgot that I did it until just now. What do y'all eat today? I had a bagel. But a Riz Lord? I guess Riz Lord's still fine, but that sounds so bad. No one with Riz uses the word Riz Lord.
Um, suck. This is fine. We can listen to the music and hear some squirming sounds. Really? Thank you. Okay, well, let's get away from the rock, please. Move backwards right now, or else. Phase two, or or do nothing, I guess. That's fine. Members of the conversation, is this non-fictional? <laughs> I can only laugh at that. Well, I have way more vials now than I did last time, so that's cool. Oh boy, that's not good. Frenzy's gonna kill me. Heal. Oh, damn it, dude. I knew I needed, I, I healed before the frenzy went off and then it took me so low. But I needed to heal right there because otherwise the health drain would have killed me. It's Frenzy, it's like madness in Elden Ring. Basically, when the Frenzy bar builds up, you just take like a ton of damage. The more insight you have, I think the more... I don't know if it's the more damage you take or the faster it builds up. I, I don't know. The more insight you have, the less resistance I think you have to it. I don't exactly know how it works, though. Such a good attempt, too, and then I got Frenzy. I should have just ran away, honestly, when I saw the frenzy coming out. God, this dash sucks, man. I don't know how you're supposed to consistently dodge that. I just cannot figure it out. Why would you dash point blank? What makes this a certified 30-year-old boomer? First thing he does when he wakes up is crack up his monster energy and starts the stream. I can't remember the last time I had a monster energy drink. They have monster, uh, like, alcohol that tastes very much like the energy drinks. It's scary. Like, you can't even tell that it's booze. You can? You can tell? Or are you talking about monster? Oh god. 
Okay, I spammed like an extra two R1s than I meant to. Greatest heal, right? What are you doing? Oh, she's fine. Norman Reedus and Kojima can't convince you. They actually pulled it from the game, believe it or not. It might have like had licensing for like a certain amount of time, but it's not a thing anymore in Death Stranding. At least in the, the PC version, it wasn't. Are you not dead? Most people who say they can't handle caffeine from energy drinks and then drink three coffees a day. <laughs> Did we even, I don't even think I have any souls to lose. Oh, I had 433. Damn. All right, lower Lauren time. The level up first. Oh, I need some uh, bullets. Probably need vials too, honestly. We'll do this first boss, I think, and I'll use those souls to buy vials because the second two bosses are going to suck. Oh, I needed, uh, hang on. Oh, that's 20k? Damn. I guess I can use that for some stuff. Remove this. Lower Lauren. Blooming Cold Blood Flower, okay. That I can buy. What did I need? Oh, crap, I don't know how many I needed. Three? Four? I'll buy four. Might have only needed, needed two, though. Oh no, I needed four. All good. All right. Last depths of the Chalice Dungeons. According to the Collector's Edition Guide, the recommended level is 140. What level am I at? Am I at 100? I just hit 100. 101. Weapon upgrade level plus 10. I don't put too much stock in those, though, because you could do all this at level 4. Obviously, it's much harder at level 4, though. Okay, there's one Ritual Blood 5 back this way. Actually, more than one. There are indeed three. One in here. Here. Oh yeah, this is the dungeon that's drawn incorrectly. They show this door being over there. Is there no enemy in here? This is weird. Usually there's always an enemy in this room guarding the chest or the switch. Mitchell Blood 5. Yeah, I will point out every time that this is drawn incorrectly on this map. The other one is drawn correctly, this one. This one's good. Ah, screamy dude. How do I get out of here? Did we have to go down? I think we did. This guy will not leave me alone. Is this the right way? Feels like the wrong way. It is indeed the right way. What's the point of insight? It changes things in the game. So there's like, um, things that you can't see with low insight that you can only see with higher insight, which is if Hemwick has a, an enemy in like an ad in the arena that you can't see unless you have one insight. You can't see the doll. I don't know if you can level up with zero insight, but the doll is not alive when you have zero insight. There are amygdala, amygdala, amygdala all around. Where the hell am I going? Is it the wrong way? I feel like I went the wrong, oh, here. No, here. There are amygdala that will uh, be invisible unless you have insight. And then some guys have buffs on their weapons that you can only see with insight. 
But if I were the bosses and you can level up, it just seems like it's there to be there. I mean, you can buy stuff with it too. You can buy chalice materials, other stuff. This game was the one where durability was not needed at all. I think, yeah, it was just a mechanic that was left over from, like, you know, the other Souls games that's kept its place in this game, I guess. I don't think that guy... Oh, he does climb ladders. Doesn't matter, I guess, because we're in a boss fight. Oh, ho, ho, that is some damage. Jesus Christ. Wow. Guy's not messing around. Another beast enemy. True. We fight three beast enemies in this chalice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's all you fight in the Lauren Chalices. Or Beasts. Beast Possessed Soul. Abhorrent Beast. Twice. Lauren Dark Beast. This guy. And then Bloodstarred Beast, too. That boss is a pushover compared to what's coming. And you get 126k from it. It's crazy. Beastborn. Hey, once we get to ease, there's no more beasts. There is one in Tomb Raider Hill, though. Let's go level up. Help. Give me levels. Do endurance and we'll do arcane. I don't know if I'm going to get arcane to 50 and have more levels for strength or if we're just going to barely get arcane to 50, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy vials with that, wasn't I? It's alright, we can do, uh... This. Another 30. Might have to do some farming. Actually, let me pop another one. Maybe a few. I think it's funny how if you sell these, you don't get as much echoes from them as you would just popping them. It's, it's so weird that they did that. 12? Oh my god, that's nothing. Oh, well, hopefully we don't need a lot here. I guess I'll have to buy vials after, uh, Abhorrent Beast. Layer 2 of Lowered Lauren. I need to get a couple more Ritual Blood here. What did I say I need? I need 20... Actually, we need less now. I think I need 18 Ritual Blood. 5. 18 more. Do we need to go backwards? No. We do not. I think this is the dungeon where you go through here. This is so stupid. I hate this. Because this is a preset dungeon. Like, I'm sure it was randomly generated, but you literally just go in like a U-shape. There is nothing else here. Although I think you can fall from above into that room. I think that's a thing. Okay, I kind of remember this one now. We have to go like across the bridges or whatever. I can find them. This way? 2k mirror points till that dagger run? Which dagger run? Place reminds me of DS3 Smoldering Lake. Yeah, I can see that actually, especially when you get out to the, uh... Well, you'll see it in a second. If it is this way. I think it is. DS2 dagger, just the base dagger? Like this? This is very Smoldering Lakey. At least with, like, the color. All the rocks everywhere. So I think we want to go down here. And then this way? Skeleton army bridge, that too. Okay, the item on the right here. This is ritual blood. And that's all we need here. Now we just gotta find the switch. Which is... Not here. Where the hell is it? Oh, I see. I don't know if it's better to go... It's probably better to go from here, I guess. Actually, I don't really know. It might be better to warp back, but it's fine. Oh, we might be dead here. Well, that's fine. 
How many uh, channel points do you get in a stream, roughly? Anyone know? I always ask this and I can never remember the answer. I mean, it depends on whether or not you're subbed. And then, like, the longer you watch, I think you get obviously get more points, but like you can claim additional points, which I guess that would be the same for everyone. So that doesn't really matter. Don't know. I don't either. This is the wrong way. Can we go all the way down here? Yes. To the right. I love how this guy is just using a corpse for a weapon. 300 from the start, but from watching the stream, one hour and 10 minutes, he got 290. So via almost 600 total. I don't know, you can maybe get 2,000 in a stream, I don't really know. Alright, this boss sucks. Might be the reason I have to- either one of these two bosses, I know I'm gonna have to farm vials for, because I'm gonna run out. You gotta type a lot? Yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. You might get some for like, one of the first message or something. They have like so many different little things you can get them for, but like the, the thing you're gonna get the most from is just from watching. I know four. Ugh. That only did 300 damage for a running R2. Is there a running L2, I wonder? That's like one thing I have not tried on this. I don't think there is. There's definitely not a dash R2. I love this song, man. Eight hundred. I don't know how. Is he even in, like, phase three? Is parry a thing in Bloodborne? It is. But he can't do when you're two-handing. Which I have been for, like, the majority of this playthrough. Oh. A transform attack finisher. Sweet. 
so satisfying. All right, we gotta get some vials and maybe some bullets too. And we need three more ritual blood five. I have no idea why I sent that elevator up. There's no need. Yeah, I haven't really done any pairing on this uh, playthrough, honestly. Guns, the reason why I want to play Bloodborne. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Okay, we'll do one level. Parries with a gun, yes. Endurance or we'll go, we'll go arcane. Although I might start going strength now. 69, I have to do this. Is it this one? No. Oh. Mm, this way? Mm. No. Not that way, this way. We go up. Please let me leave. Ah, no luck. Auto correct be goofy. I've seen some uh, some fun autocorrects in chat before. Man, this thing's tanky. What the heck? <laughs> Never seen a dog do that. <laughs> Basically walking at that point. Oops. So after we do this boss, any vials? Bullets are nice. After this boss, we'll go do uh, Mikalash and Wet Nurse, I guess, because I think all the optional stuff is done. Then we'll come back, we'll do Ease, and then we'll start DLC, probably get through Maria, finish the last three chalices, and then do the final four bosses. This boss is gonna suck. I hate fighting or in Dark Beast. But the theme's great. I, I swear I've never seen that attack and I've seen it like a bunch of times in this run. No, that's gonna hurt. Actually, it didn't hurt that much. Well, I'm amazed I haven't hit broken a limb yet. Oh my god, dude! I swear, like these attacks are going through this boss and just not hitting. Oh, that's bad. Damn. I don't know why I thought it was out of range of that. Took another shot. <laughs> Dude, it's literally going through their leg. Wish the rally mechanic came back. It did. What do you mean? Melania's greater, in, buddy. <laughs> it's a shell of what it was in this game, though. Uh oh. So many of the attacks should be connecting, and they are just whiffing somehow. I am watching the weapon go through the legs of this enemy. Not oh, great, that's gonna kill me. Oh, I lived. Oh, that killed me. Okay. Yeah, I think what rallying does well is it makes sure you stay aggressive. Or at least it tries to encourage you to be aggressive. It's not always easy, though. Sometimes you get too aggressive and then, uh end up dead. I think this is this boss. I think they always jump at the beginning. Maybe not always. I'm surprised they didn't break another limb. I just had the one. Why is the, pro is the projectile actually not hitting there? I don't know, because it keeps traveling through this boss. I don't even know if it's worth doing an L2. Maybe, maybe like higher? No, nope. yeah, I'm not gonna lie then. Or R2, whatever, I don't know what I said. Threading R2's work.
I'm amazed I haven't broken like the front left hand. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That missed? How did that miss? Doesn't even make sense. Oh my god, can you chill out? I think I'm done. Live. I'm dead now. God, I hate this boss. I feel like that was going really well, too until pretty much the very end. Like, phase one was great. That's gonna hurt. What do you... You can't roll into it, apparently. I guess you just have to roll away. I figured the hitbox was, like, on the front side of the body, but apparently if you... Roll anywhere underneath it, you die. Or you get hit, at least. That miss, Dude, I'm like, how are these attacks missing? What the heck are you even doing? Oh, of course I missed. I don't even know which way is front and I'm... God damn it, man. It's so annoying when you get pinned between limbs. And then he does the Nova. What even is this combo, man? The boss just, it, it's like too big for how fast it can move. That and like the particle effects just kind of make it terrible to fight. Like there's just so much on the screen, I can't even tell what it's doing half the time.
Oh my god, I was right on the outside of that. That was the last bullet. Can I get a different attack, please? Not that one. Just heal. The game loves its cloth physics on enemies. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, that is a phase two attack. And that, and that one's scary. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I feel like the best place you can be on, is under this boss. It's just so hard. They actually stay under, especially in phase two. Oh, nice. Can you even do a visceral here? I don't even know if you can. Finally. We should check blood gems too. I haven't checked those in a while. Zero echoes, baby, from the, uh, what I picked up. <laughs> Carl's cousin, Laura. Or I guess Lauren actually would be better. 112, we definitely need more of these. Not 263, let's get one level. Then the next beast. Hey, the next beast is not a beast, the next beast is a man. Start doing strength, I think. Farewell, good hunter. Man beast? No, just a man. It's Mikolash. 129. I don't think we've been to Mensis yet. I did go to the lecture hall, though. I think. Yes. 